Hi everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I kind of wanted to do a little Hermes cumulative haul for you guys. Um, you know, some of this I've done unboxings on my channel for, some of it I've posted like reels or YouTube shorts about this stuff, but I think it's kind of nice to kind of group it all together so that people can get an idea for um, you know, the pre-spend, if you will, that goes into getting a quota bag or a bag offer from Hermes. People like to <laughs> assign a lot of like mystery and alchemy to the process, but uh, one thing that I will say is that if you shop consistently at Hermes, you will get offered bags. Like that's, I think that's just like facts. It will happen eventually. For some people, it will take a long time. For some people, it won't take as much time. But if you shop there consistently, you will get offered bags if you want them. So, um, you know, my most recent Hermes bag acquisition was the this Constance in Rose Pop. And I just want to talk about some of the things that I picked up at Hermes um, since I got that bag. And so then when the next bag comes around, you know, you ca uh, can refer people back to this video if they're like, what did you buy? What did you do? Da, 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 da. And I'll be like, I've already put it all in this video. It's so easy to consume. Go check it out. So plus it's also a good way to kind of like reflect on how I'm sort of building my collection. As I was gathering these pieces, actually, I was like, oh, I've done a very good job. Like, I feel like curating something that makes logical sense. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. The first piece actually I'm wearing, it is this ready to wear um, silk top. It has like a little mock turtleneck ruffle collar. I think it looks very chic on its own, but this is also a great piece to layer. Uh, the Hermes runway, when the models were wearing this piece, they like had this under a, a dress or a jumper. Sorry, I tried to say them both at the same time. Um, and it's just like a really like, I like the girly touch, but I also like the sleekness of it. I think I'll be wearing it a lot this winter. It has like a nice little sheen to it. It feels really good. It hugs the body in a very flattering way. Um, I don't like the word flattering. I don't know why I just used it, but it hugs the body in a really nice way, comfortable way. Um, so I've been really enjoying this piece. The other piece of ready to wear that I picked up, I believe I shared this but I don't know. It is this cute little jacket. So it's kind of like a stretchy material, almost in like a YouTube color. Uh, and it has like a zipper down the front. It's just like a really easy, chic kind of workwear sort of thing. I love like throwing this on with jeans over like a little tank top or something like that. It looks good zipped up. It looks good worn open. It's super comfy. I took this, I wanna say I took this in a size 44. I don't know if the size is on here. Oh yeah, this is a size 44. And then this is a size 42. Um, so, you know, the Hermes sizing is, a, I think a little bit, I don't know, a little, it's the same. It's all over the board. What can I say? Um, so I got that. And then after I got this um, jacket, I was wearing it and I was like, you know, I need a belt to go with this. So the belt that I picked up, and I, I can't remember if I did an unboxing of this or not, maybe just a YouTube short, was this little H belt. And so this is E-tube and white um, with a little gold H buckle. And I like this buckle. Um, I have another Hermes belt that's um, different than this, but I like that it's not so H-y. It's kind of like, I mean, it absolutely is an H, um, but I feel like it's not so in your face. It's kind of like a swoopy line and it's very cutesy, um, but not too, I don't know, not too aggressively Hermes, like the traditional belt. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, I like to mix brands. And when you have like a really aggressive logo belt, that makes it a little bit harder. And so that is that. And then kind of, I was like building a whole look remotely, but I got very into it. I picked up these loafers, which I've been wearing actually more than I expected over the summer. And I also like this new little like circle toggle, um, it's not really like a logo, but it's motif, I guess you could say. Um, it's really like, just like subtle and pretty and like the quality of the, these shoes and the leather is like so good. When I first got, actually funny story, when I first got these shoes, they're rubber bottoms, not leather bottoms. And I'm used to like a leather bottom shoe. 
Um, it's been a long time since I had a rubber bottom shoe that wasn't like a sneaker. And so when I was trying these on, I actually marked up my carpet um, because yeah, I guess, well, here's the thing I ordered remotely and I was trying them on on the carpet because I didn't want to mess up the bottom of the shoe in case I needed to return them, which the first pair I did. But anyway, I marked up my carpet. I made that mistake, but now that they've been worn a few times, um, I don't think they're marking anything up. I don't really, we don't wear shoes inside anyway, so. I won't know if they mark up carpets, but I guess they were a little too fresh to begin with. But they're just this really pretty, like creamy color, and so it's a whole it's a whole vibe that I've put together here. So um, that was a fun little outfit to assemble. And then I had picked up um, a couple of these scarves. I also don't know if I talked about them. This was in my monthly favorites as one of my favorite scarves, just because. I've been loving burgundy for fall and then also this one has that beautiful pop of like coral pink in it and it just looks so good with my skin tone. But the other one that I picked up, fortunately I need to do a little spot clean on because I got makeup on it. Um, but it's this really light, really pretty color. And I think this is also good for me. So like the, it's light pink, but it still has like some burgundy tones in it. Where did it go? There it is like red and burgundy so it's just like really pretty it's almost like skin tone with me look at that ugh I die like literally there's yellow in it for my hair pink in it for my lips like it's the same color as my skin it's just like a really pretty easy sort of I don't know fun and I've been loving scarves recently I just like again with a t-shirt and jeans it's just like a really great way to dress up the outfit and these two that I picked up I've just like I feel like they're right on point and I've really been loving them so that was a lot of fun and then lastly this was also a monthly favorite but I hadn't unboxed them or anything and it's these Chanel boots um they're a little bit wrinkled when you're not wearing them um but on the foot they're like they're almost like a sock boot like they're like nice and tight and look really clean um but they're just wrinkled because i had them in my suitcase again see this is like the classic h that with like a logo belt is a little bit much but on the boot it's fine and also my pant mostly covers this part of the boot when i wear them but they're really great heel height super comfortable again leather bottoms what i'm used to um and i just like love the leather on these i feel like this fall winter i don't know how much i'm going to be wearing my chanel combat boots we'll see i i'm just like not vibing with them i'm vibing more with this leather boot like something a little bit more simple something a little bit more sleek and i just i think the combat boots will come back but just maybe not this fall winter anyway that was everything so basically it's been i picked this up i want to say when was I there? June. So this is like June purchase. And then um, the belt was probably July or also June. And then the shoes were July and the scars were July and the boots were August. And so, you know, it's kind of like once per month, shopping remotely, making cute purchases. Um, you know, the ready to wear is a little bit more expensive, not as expensive as Chanel. Um, but like, you know, like 1500 a visit, um, you know, you kind of just like build that kind of consistency. And then in the meantime, we're making really cute outfit investments. Like how cute is this? I die. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and we'll be able to reference it in the future when I hopefully come back on here um, with another bag at some point down the line. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know which of these items was your favorite and otherwise I will see you in my next one. Okay, bye guys.